You look stunning. Oh, it's the first time I put makeup on in about two weeks. So nice. What is that behind your head? Is that a World Cup? It, it's a pretend World Cup. It's um, it's some artwork. Where is it? <laughs> By a guy called Riker. Oh, I was like, oh my god, are you like married to a footballer or something? <laughs> Whichever, whichever works for you. Yeah. We can stay like this if it works better for you. Yeah. So, how are you? Yeah, fine. What a weird world. Isn't it? So, yeah. let, so fill me in. Where exactly are you? So, I'm at my house in Watford. Yep. Where I live with my husband and my three cats. Yep. Um, yeah, we're just nice and cosy here. Haven't been anywhere in a while. So, where were you when it all kind of... Because you were on tour still. Yeah, I'm still meant to be. Um, yeah, we we just finished in Canterbury. Right. And literally, it was a Saturday night. We didn't... I mean, obviously, everything was happening, but we hadn't been told anything being cancelled. And um, we all just said, all right, see you Tuesday. And then on the Monday, we got the call and didn't even say goodbye to anyone or say goodbye to the show. It was really sad. Oh, how did that feel? Yeah. So this is Cabaret that you've been doing for... Cabaret, yes. How long have you been Since, doing it now? It's been... Uh, since August last year, so quite a while. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, I was really sad. I cried lots, but, you know, I totally understand why. And yeah, it's, um, yeah. It's a scary time, and it's for everyone's safety. So, um, yeah. And how long had you supposed to be in it for? How long was left? Luckily, we'd done the majority of it. Right. So we were supposed to end at the end of this month, at the end of April. Right, Okay. So we only had, we had like six, seven weeks left uh, when we ended, so. Okay. But yeah, you just didn't really get to say goodbye, that's. No, that was the thing, and I absolutely loved, I was playing Sally Walls, and it was yeah. just, uh, I mean, it's just one of the best parts out there, really. And um, I, I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready yet. Oh. I hadn't prepared myself for it to be over. Um, so I had a, a few tears on my husband's shoulder, but um, we're all right now. Yeah, because yeah, I came I to see... We'll definitely have a big reunion when it's all... Um, oh, absolutely. All I think all the parties that are going to be going on once all this is over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think someone shared a, something on Facebook about when Weatherspoons opens and it was one of those, like, everyone pushing down the door. <laughs> exactly. Can you imagine? Um, so, yeah, so I came to see you in Bromley um, yes, yeah, back yeah, at the beginning of the run. Wasn't it? And it is a stunning production. That ending, for anybody who doesn't see it, it's it really hits home, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really powerful. Yeah. And it, it was just, um, every day I just felt so lucky to be part of something so good. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of brilliant things out there, but I every time I'd be in the wings and I'd be watching the ensemble or, or other scenes, I'd be like, this is just great. This is such a good production. It's such a good show, and it really stands the test of time, obviously, Everybody knows Cabaret, but this particular production was really, really something. The choreography was beautiful. Oh, I know. Um, Javier de Frutos. Yeah. It. It's not the original. It wasn't the original Fosse choreography, but it was amazing. I mean, the dancers, they're just unbelievable. They're leaping off things yeah. and flying off staircases. I sort of just stood there in the middle and made it look like I was doing more than that. <laughs> but for you, was this was this a little bucket list dream role oh, that you've had? Oh yeah, de definitely. This has been the part for me always. So that's a big tick. I didn't and feel. The reason why it's so sad not to sort of end it properly, but you never know. Hopefully, there'll be another opportunity. Yeah. Me. So this was a tour that Louise Redknapp did, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. It was the same production. So she did it with Will Young. I think it was two years previously. Yeah. And I had um, the lovely John Partridge as my MC. And how was he to work with? Because he seems like he could be a bit of a a fun, <laughs> fun character. <laughs> he's a character. No, he's he's great, and he was so good at that part. He was just, yeah. And he he played it really differently. He played it quite dark, and um, it was it was amazing. And he had the audience in the palm of his hand. Yeah. Every single time. Yeah, it's great. Exactly. And before that, so I we we chatted last year when you were doing Maggie May. Yeah, that we did beautiful. a lovely interview with me and Jane. Yeah. Do you still keep in touch? He's obviously now in Canada. Yeah, yeah he lives in Canada now. Yeah, we, we do keep in touch. Yeah, I spoke to him a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, I, I think he's good. It's, it's good. 
as you can be at, at yeah. this, sort of, this sort of time. But yeah, no, I, I had so much fun on that job and it was so short. But I absolutely, it was honestly one of the, my favourite things that I've ever done at the Fimbra. And it was so small and, but the company was lovely and uh, yeah. Oh, that was it. But it sandwiched you, obviously you went from Scylla into that and then back <laughs> into touring again. Yeah. Was yeah, it yeah. weird to then go back onto this huge auditoriums? <laughs> Weirdly, you feel I, I feel more safe on on a big stage with a big yeah, sound yeah. And, and the audience being you know a good couple of meters <laughs> away. The Fimbra was quite a nerve wracking yeah. experience because there's you're not mic'd, there's no band, uh, and everything's so intimate. You know, if you have a little crack, which uh, isn't unusual, um, it, it can be very clearly heard at the Fimbra. Whereas if you're on a big stage and there's a lot going on, you can sort of get away with it <laughs> a bit more and obviously you so you were expecting to come home anyway next month so i guess it just feels yeah. to your hubby that you've just come home a little earlier than planned yeah i think he, he was pleased because he missed me when i was yeah away, but, um, but yeah, i don't think we've we've never spent this much time together so yeah much. and we've got we haven't got a big house so we're, <laughs> we're trying to sort of find our own things to do and not drive each other too crazy <laughs> and what have you been doing how have you been filling your days um, we've been trying to get stuff done on the house. We've been doing things like putting up artwork, putting up things and trying to sort the garden. I tried to set up the loft yesterday, which I, oh, I I have a fear of going in the loft for some reason, but I managed to do it and I tidied it up. Um, I have done a lot of uh, Netflix watching, so I haven't been... Uh, ah, what can you recommend? <laughs> I'm obsessed with Tiger King at the moment. I'm halfway through that. I haven't, oh, I haven't started that You need yet. to watch that. And then what else am I watching? I've been watching Love is Blind. Have you seen that? It's I've brutal. It's absolutely ridiculous. Isn't it? I, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Have you, have you seen the, um, the like, reunion bit? No, I'm still on the weddings. I'm still like oh, working my way through the weddings. Oh, drama. Some of them are brutal though. Yeah. But because they, the do they take themselves that seriously? It's like, whoa. I know, after like two weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, very entertaining. We've been binging um, How to Get Away with Murder. Nice. Oh, have you seen it? I watched it a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so good. We're on the final series now. Yeah, it's great. It's That's great. Amazing. That's the thing. It's like there's so much. Can I obviously see theatre every night when I'm back in London? Yeah. And to come away, I'm now watching see these shows that I've heard about but never had a chance to actually sit down and watch. So, yeah, like. We watched a couple of. I watched the. Um, one Man, Two Governors. That yes. Streamed live. I watched that the other day. I watched Wind in the Willows that was at the Palladium because they did a... Yeah. And they've been showing that for free. And um, I watched Eugenius when that was shown. Yeah. And that was great. It was, yeah, so it's nice to see, You still get to see a little bit of theatre. Exactly. I think Can the I... National are showing something every Thursday. Is that right? I think they've got three shows a week. Three, like they're kind of varying it, doing play and musical and, and something else. But, oh, amazing. Yeah, the, and Andrew Lloyd Webber's um, launched a new... YouTube channel, so he, he, I think he put out the Donny Osmond version of Joseph last oh, Friday, so... With Maria Friedman? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that one's out at the no. moment. But, oh, um, wow. yes, it's all... Donny Osmond in a loincloth, why not? <laughs> exactly, who doesn't love a bit of that? <laughs> but speaking of Joseph, because obviously it was Olivier's, was supposed to be today, and Jack Yarrow was, was there, I felt so sorry oh. for him, because it's like... Two years ago, he was there in the choir singing behind Joe McEldry and now nominated for an Olivier and then didn't get to go. I mean, in the scheme of it, you kind of, you, we're all in this and this is eff affecting everybody. But there are little moments like that. Has there been anything that particularly personal to you that's kind of made you... Just a, a few friends that have, were on the brink of things. Yeah. You know, either they were in rehearsals or they hadn't even started rehearsals yet and, and things like that. And when, when they don't even get to Put it perform on. it to an audience, it's like, oh. I mean, I, I feel lucky in that way that we had the yeah. majority of ours and it just ended a little bit early. But yeah, there's, there was a lot of things that people have been rehearsing and it might have been a big break for them. And, and it's hopefully only been postponed and yeah. things like that. Hopefully it'll, it'll come back, but you just don't know at the moment and, and things like West End shows closing yeah because obviously they're losing so much money and maybe they were going to close soon and they've had to sort of pull things 
early. It's so yeah, it's heartbreaking, really. It is. And for you, you had did you have any plans for the rest of the year yet, or did no. you no? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it um and speaking of tours coming back so Scylla's coming back with uh Sheridan Smith it's yeah. interesting isn't it so will you be going along to see it or how does that feel when somebody else takes over a part um, oh she'll be amazing and I'll, go, I'll definitely go and see yeah. it I was, I was really sad when I found out but, yeah um, yeah she's she's really lovely and she's really yeah Was there ever consideration to to be an alternate on it, or was that even an option? I mean, yeah, I mean, nothing's been um, nothing's been mentioned, so I'll just sort of see yeah. see what happens. But hopefully, this isn't my last encounter with it because it's it's a great show. And um, but yeah, I had a I had a I had a call from Bill Kenwright before it all got announced. So luckily, okay. I I had a heads up. Oh, that's I mean, nice. But if, if I'd have just seen the announcement, I think I'd have been like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, and I'll definitely go and see it. And hopefully a lot of the original cast get asked back. Now, yeah. Because they're, they're all fantastic. So hopefully they get a lot of um, a lot of the original lot okay. back in to do it. Exactly. Um, and how is the husband? Is he, is he well? Is he healthy or safe? Yeah, he's good. He's, he's currently being manly and doing some gardening and stuff with his top off. Shall I? Uh, <laughs> yeah, go on, whiz him around. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. Um, he's been getting stuff done. He's, he's being productive. He went for a run this morning and yeah, I obviously didn't. <laughs> and how have, yeah, how have you found your fitness? Because I am just eating so much. I'm just eating not exercising. Not exercising. Exactly. Um, yeah. I'm going to be the size of a house by the time this ends. Yeah, same. Literally. Same. Rob, Rob, come say hi. <laughs> yeah, I've been eating everything, but our fridge is nearly empty now. We need to, um, we need to venture out and do one of our... Big shops. shops. Have you been out and about at all? Hello. How are you? Here, you're doing the garden. Try <laughs> Good work. Amazing, yeah. We all need to come round to yours when this quarantine's over. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's weird as well. Like you mentioned about like not needing to get up and do your makeup or even like there's days where I don't even get out my one onesie. I'm like literally yeah, no. turning into such a slob. I, I may look like I'm quite put together today, but it's only because I've been asked to do a singing video for something. So that's the reason I've got makeup on. I oh. Got makeup on at all for the last two weeks, and my hair has just been. Is, is this for the cameo? Are you doing cameos? No, I don't even know what cameo is. Well, I, I think... don't think. I don't think. Again, I don't think I'm famous enough for cameo. But oh, I don't know. Like, I'm sure you've got a few fans. Um, what is it? People get. People ask you to do. Yeah, videos. people just like send you a message and say, "Can you give me a shout out or make a video or do something?" So Jodie Steele's on it now. But like, I think David Hunter's been quite creative with it. He's doing. Um, somebody will get them. Get him to write them a song. And like give him some words or something, and he does it, and it's incredible. Oh. But then other people are just like Weston. Exactly, <laughs> like Weston Will was just getting everybody to like belt, just um, defying gravity. See how many riffs you can get into it. So if you fancy a crack at that, you know. What I mean? Absolutely not. <laughs> that Have you ever been in for Wicked? Oh, I, I well, I've been I've been in a few times for Glinda, but I, yeah. I'm not. Uh, and who is it? Are there I'll any do, shows? I'll do, it down, I'll do it down, down a few. Or I'll do it in soprano. <laughs> no, should I do it? Should I do a really high soprano one? Yeah, 
I'll pay to watch that. But have you been asked to do any online concerts by anybody or are you planning to do anything? No, I'm doing, the thing I'm doing today, I work for a company called Incognito Artists. I don't uh-huh. know if you know them. They have a lot of sort of Western knee type performers. But we're doing a little, you know, did you see the um, the Bring Him Home video? The, yes, the, yes. Yeah, they're sort of along those lines, but with it with a different song. Nice. With all of their performers all over the world. So um, I'm going to record that in a bit. But um, I haven't done any, any online concerts or anything like that. But um, I've, I've been a bit poorly, actually. I don't know if it was anything yeah. too serious i've just had a cold like cough and a sore throat and stuff so i've sort of been avoiding putting myself out there too much but but maybe now yeah well that's a worry because that's thing like you, the slightest cough or cold you kind of you become paranoid thinking oh is this it is this it i know you're coughing like oh my god i've got it <laughs> <laughs> um are there any roles i want to know that you want to do next what do you see in your future Right. But, yeah, that's just a role I'd love. Uh, cause it's, it's, I think it's a great acting role. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what else. I mean, something like Millie and Thoroughly Modern Millie or something like yeah. that. Those sort of quirky actor-singer roles. Like, yeah, something like that would have been great. It's amazing. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you know what? I'd love, I'd love to, um, to not sing for a bit. I'd love to do a play or... Really? Or yeah, I find singing very stressful. Well, I was going to ask, like, how does it feel like to be having a bit of a vocal rest? But is it actually quite nice to... It's quite, yeah, it's nice. I mean, obviously, I, I get paid to sing and I, you know, I love doing shows. But I am, I get in my head a lot about my voice and I right. give myself a really hard time about, about my singing voice. And it's just a, it's just a weird thing and I, I stress myself out, um... So yeah, I'd, I'd I'd love to do a play or something like that. That'd be great. What type of plays do you like? I don't know really. Like new it's or international? Well, Ruf, Rufus Norris um, directed Cabaret. Right. Yeah. He's um, he's artistic director at the National. So. Yeah. <laughs> See about good. that. <laughs> and of course, Moulin Rouge, the musicals coming over yeah. at some point. You played Santine in Secret Cinema. Yeah, Secret Cinema, I did. Yeah, and I uh, yeah, and I know that um, I've been trying to. I mean, obviously you can't get in the room for things, <laughs> but trying to put good yeah. vibes out for that. Oh, oh yeah, it'd be amazing. Um, I loved doing it for Secret Cinema so much. It was just the most fun part. I got to wear the most amazing costumes, and it was really sassy and and great. So what's going on? I, I, was I, like... had, um, I had Simon Gordon playing Christian. Yeah, opposite me. And I think he'd be amazing. Yeah, he would he definitely. Lesson, so I hope he gets an audition for it, because he's great. Exactly. But what was that experience like? Because obviously it was immersive, and you're there with the people. Were there ever moments where it just went a bit, you felt like it was getting out of control? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah a lot. And, and so, you know, some audience members would be totally in it. They would be completely committed. They'd be full costume. They'd have a, a complete character outline and they they would know exactly what they're doing um and it was it was always amazing i'd never done a sort of improvised immersive yeah. thing before that was and and some of the other performers had done it a lot so they just watching them do their thing was it was amazing i mean i tended to feel more comfortable when, once we got to the film and it was more i knew yeah. where i was supposed to go when it always scared me when you just walk down and you're like i don't know what people are going to say to me and you just have to roll with it but um but I can't remember. Was it, it was you really that was? Fun did... and it was a real, real challenge as as an actor. But did you? Was it you that came from the ceiling, or was that a double? I can't say. It. You shouldn't say. It. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get the magic away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Health and safety. Have I would be free. I would freak out. I'd be scared of heights. I'd be like, no, I'm not well, doing I, it. I wanted, I wanted to do it, but um, I think they couldn't get. Uh, I don't know licensing. Yeah. Or, something for me to do so um we had a wonderful double lucy who came down from the ceiling and then i just appeared and i was like oh my god i loved it when you came down from the ceiling it's like oh, you're, you're welcome <laughs> uh let's go back to your I did do. <laughs> let's go back to your reality tv stint mm. on that little show how was that great how did that come about did they approach you or did so i we were signed 
to Decca Records. It was with my band um, Zyra, Zyra yeah. Rose. We were called after Mental Talent, um, and we yeah, we were signed to Decca Records. And I became part of it because I did what was it? I did a concert at the Royal Albert Hall called A Night of a Thousand Stars. I yes, I yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that, and I was just in the sort of. I was one of the thousand stars at the back. Yeah. Um, but I got chosen to have a little solo in one of the songs, and. Um, one of the guys who was in the orchestra, uh, who then became our manager, approached me and said, oh, do you want to uh, audition for this thing or do a demo? And this was before they'd even got the record label on board. And I went in and I did a demo. And then it, it went to Universal Records and Decca. And um, and then they auditioned all of the other girls. And then wow. we, were signed. And we, were, we were signed to Decca Records for two years. I think it was about two years. And we had... Four number ones in the classical yeah. iTunes charts. And it was all going very well, and then they dropped us. Right. So, uh, yeah, so that was a bit of a... Crazy. Because we, we, all, we all left our agents. I didn't have an acting agent. I stopped auditioning entirely and put, put everything into, into that. And then after we got dropped by the label, we got approached by Britain's Got Talent, um, to go in and audition for that and uh and yeah we thought well why not and so we did that and we got to the semi-finals and had a few lovely gigs afterwards and i'm we're, st we're still all friends so where, where did it lead after that and then how come you decided to disband or did you all decide you just wanted to do different things it sort, it sort of just fizzled out a yeah bit. we all sort of started doing our own things again and auditioning for shows and stuff like that and we never really officially ended yeah it just sort, of, sort of fizzled out but one of our members was christine aliada who's in prince of egypt yes yes um who, she's amazing and uh yeah and we're all we are all still friends we didn't have a massive uh girl band bust up or anything <laughs> <laughs> and you'd never met before you you they were put together no. No. Oh, wow although, that, although that's not really how the story was yeah before, but, it's got, but no we hadn't amazing and you're so you should team up online, I think, the four of you. Do a little kind oh, of... Oh, that would be cute. Yeah. That'd Everybody nice, else would do that. I was reaching out to um, Noel Sul Sullivan and the Hearsay Gang. And I was oh, like, that would be great. I love them. That'd be so good. We've got the same agent. Um, yeah. Yeah. Olivia Bell. Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, God, that'd be so good. I loved Hearsay. Isn't it? So, like, but Noel's been working with an MD called Nick who does kind of rearrangement, and he's on his new rearrangement album. And I'm saying, that'd be great. Just get the boys, well, all of them back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I definitely reckon there's a possibility for you guys now you're kind of sitting around. <laughs> yeah, not doing a lot. <laughs> uh, have you been baking or anything? Have you discovered any domestic skills? Mm, no. Not really. <laughs> I'm yeah. terrible at baking. Anything that involves lots of elements being sort of ready at the same time or lots of elements being put together. If it, if it, I'm good at things like a slow cooker. Yeah. Like you can throw everything in and no matter how long you leave it, you can't really fuck it up. <laughs> well, apparently, cause my, my friend Alex did a, a slow cooked chilli the other day. It's all the thing, it's isn't it? Right. Yeah. I love a slow cooker. I love a soup maker. I've got a soup maker. Nice. So Soup. You just chuck everything in, and it and it can't really go wrong. Oh, that sounds um, really healthy. Those are the sort of meals that I like. And yeah, if there's lots of different components, one of them will always be ready about half an hour before it's supposed to be, <laughs> and then that bit is cold before. I finish. Yeah, I'm not good with <laughs> the logistics. It's quite difficult. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Nice. nice. And have you got any celebrations or birthdays or anything coming up while you're while we're in lockdown? Do you think? What? Well, no. Mum is seventy, so really, we we're supposed to be going away for the weekend and a couple of weeks, and obviously we can't do that. Yeah, just gonna be at home, but um, I'm sure we'll we'll have time to celebrate it at some yeah. point. Yeah, did you manage? You won't have got to see her on Mother's Day either, then. I imagine was that last uh, week? No, 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 no. I was thinking, when was that? Yeah, no, it didn't. Yeah, it's a shame. And we went to pop round my nan's house and just sort of waved at her from the door. Wow. But they're all right, they're well. Everyone's well, everyone is well, so that is good. Yeah. And it's and it's better not to 
try and respect Yeah, things. exactly. Yeah. I've got a friend who turns 40 this year and he's saying he's just going to defer it till next year, like the Olympics. So maybe his mum could do that. Have a 17th oh. first. <laughs> just gain a year. Exactly. Just pretend this year didn't happen. <laughs> exactly. Rewrite a birth certificate. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Right. Well, it, it's been a pleasure talking to you and I'm glad you're well. I am. I'm very well. And love you to, love you to hear from you and see you. You too. And um, yeah, go get that husband's dinner on. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Be a good housewife. Housewife, housewife, ever. <laughs> Amazing. See you later. Bye. <laughs> what the hell? What is that about? What? Um, would you, having done it now, would you do it again? Or do you think... Absolutely, I definitely... I, I hope I haven't come to the end of my journey with yeah. it. Because I haven't finished that chapter for me. And so if it was, you know, taken away from me... I love um, that job. And it was my dream job. Like, I still would go back. If they rang me up tomorrow and went, would you come and play Fiero for like two weeks? I'd be like, yes, I'll do it for free. Like, Get those jumpers back on. Um... We're waiting for Fiera and Alphabet contract. I, lo- I loved it. It was, <laughs> it was it awful. Was... I remember getting taken into um, a meeting two months into first year being like, you need to up your game, like you're so behind everyone else. So I did. And yeah. I took every extra class I could. Today, I've been doing yoga every morning. This one gets out of yoga mat. I'm like, I'm sorry, starts doing yoga. <laughs> <laughs> it's, got to, it's got to the point where like isolation is like <laughs> turning me into like a fitness person.